Hey guys, welcome back to making your own complete website completely from scratch. Um, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. It's going to be in an annotation right here, probably. or And it's also going to be in the description, so you can go check that out. So this, part, step, this step of the tutorial is going to be on slicing your website so you can actually export it into an HTML file and import it into Dreamweaver. So it's actually really easy. It's not too hard, and I'll show you how to do it. So um, I'm going to do it in Fireworks, to show you how to do it in Fireworks. I'm going to go to File, New, and go to that, and go to File, Open, and, oh yeah, by the way, I need to actually save this, so, File, Save As, I'll save it as an index, and go back in there and open that up. You should save it as a PSD, it works real nice. And there we go. And as you see, you can basically click on things in it. Kind of like that. It's pretty cool. You can actually move things around just like you would in Photoshop. It works just like Photoshop. Um, just all the layers are merged into one, but you can still move them around, which is pretty cool. I think that's a really cool concept. Anyway, so we want to actually slice. And I've gone over slicing it. I've actually made a tutorial on slicing, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. It's really easy. So grab the web, the slice tool, and slice what you want. To be clicked, which is our navigation buttons, and our logo, and our links. Main important, most importantly, our links. We really want those links and navigation. Um, now, because we rounded this, um, this is actually really important, and this is why I told you earlier to cut off the rounded edges. Is when you edit this in. Um, Dreamweaver, you can actually expand the page if it's a square. If it's not, it'll start repeating the image. If it's not like 100% the same, it'll start repeating the image. So you don't want that. So what you actually want to do is slice it so you get all of the roundness out in one, and then the rest just in a separate image. And I'll show you why later, and it'll turn out better later. I'm going to leave this by itself, and go to File, Export, and website, save it here, uncheck that, save, and we're done slicing. Okay, so slice in Photoshop, you want to grab the slice tool right here, so there's, there's a tool right here called the slice tool, pretty cool, and slice how you would in fireworks, just like that. Ah, oh. god damn! There we go. And yeah, I'm not gonna go big and do this, but you know, you know me. Okay, so file, save for web and devices, and from here you want to go to save, to ignore all those. There's actually a more detailed tutorial um, by Tutvid. We made a really good tutorial on how to slice in Photoshop, and you save as HTML and or yeah HTML and images just like you would normally would in Adobe Fireworks. Now the reason I don't do it in Adobe Photoshop is because I've had a lot I've run into a lot of problems when it came to slicing in this program. I don't know what it is. It just it always messes up my my template, and you know I'm not going to do that. So I want to play it safe and do it in Fireworks. It works a lot better, and I like it. So. That's the end of this step. Uh, I hope this was helpful. And the next step is actually exporting it into Dreamweaver. So that's going to be step three. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you later. Bye.